And what's old can be new again with some time, patience, and Mike Lawrence. Mike joins us now to introduce his newest project that we get to follow along with. And I love these projects. You are renovating a 115-year-old home. Hi, Mike. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited about this project. It's a great one for the new year. The house was originally built in 1906, and a lot of the original elements existed until we took them out. <laughs> However, the, uh, the original house was changed into multiplex many, many years ago, probably in the 30s or 40s, and remained that way, and now we're going to convert it into uh, two luxury suites. Okay, my house was built in 1905, so, and we've had challenges, so I can just imagine the ones you're dealing with there. What are the biggest challenges, Mike, on working on a home that was built over 100 years ago? Pretty much everything, Tracy, and that's why we're not going to keep anything in here. We're stripping it down to the bare bones, to the double wide brick, back down to the joists, and rebuilding it from the inside out. Yeah, and I bet especially that wiring. Now, let's talk about the biggest changes at the homeowner's request. What do they want to see? Well, besides a new home and, and the two suites, there's three big key asks that they're after. The original setup in here was a 100 amp service to facilitate all three suites, which was really antiquated. So we're gonna do dedicated services for both new suites. Um, they wanted a huge backyard, and currently it's very small and a really nasty old addition on the back of the house. So we're gonna remove that addition and create an amazing outdoor living space. And, and access from the main floor to that. Um, and currently, this lower level is maybe six feet high, so it's not very usable. And they would like the main suite to be the main floor and the lower level, so we're actually gonna do a full underpin on the property, lower the basement uh, about two and a half feet and have over eight foot clear uh, when we're complete. Ooh, that's fantastic. How many square feet are we talking about? The overall house, when it's finished, is going to be around 2,600, almost equally divided between the two suites. Very cool. Okay, now I know the pandemic gave you many challenges and the last project that you were working with, lots of delays. Do you see the same experience happening with this one? Absolutely. So I don't think that's going to change for some time. Uh, so what we've done is we've changed our process. So. Tile used to be three weeks for ordering, or windows were six. Everything's two, three, or four times longer. So before we even began, we were doing all the specifications for all the interior finishes, planning the millwork, the window orders, etc. So we're going to have all the material we need on hand when we need it. Probably earlier than we need it, which is you know kind of rare during the pandemic. But those are the steps that we have to do now to keep projects on track. Yeah, and that's why you want a contractor like Mike on your team. Okay, so your team <laughs> has started on the house already. I can hear the activity. I see, you know, bodies in the background. Where are you in the process, and when is the projected end date? Well, we started a couple weeks ago on the soft demolition. So that's stripping the lath and plaster, that knob and tube wiring, all the old cast iron plumbing, uh, the floor, the tile, the millwork, taking it right back to the original uh, structure. And, and in a couple weeks, we'll have the permit. And then we can begin the structural components where that is putting in the beam work to support the open floor plans and to begin the underpin and remove that old addition. Um, now, it's always a loaded question when you're gonna be finished, but we're absolutely, I can guarantee, they're gonna be in here uh, for Halloween, without a doubt. Oh my gosh, those are some strong promises being made right now. <laughs> he says without a yes. doubt, they will be putting on their Halloween costumes in these two luxury suites. Mike, thank you.